hey guys welcome back to another video we're going to look at how we can build this small medieval plains house also i will be shifting my focus to smaller builds to cut back on instance counts and in the future to make a decent village with a few tiny detail structures here and there after starting a 100 day survival village build challenge it has inspired me to do more of these small builds if you haven't seen that video you can check it out on my channel or you can click on the link in the description if you want to check out that later on with that said let's jump right in okay so to do the layout for the small bill we're going to start off with like a 3x3 for the front right here and we're going to continue with the 3x3 to the side now for our, this little extension uh, section here we're going to go up overlap the corner right here we're gonna put a one meter stone right here so it should be like a two meter extension out from the this structure here and then we're gonna continue with it being a three by three so one two three and uh, we're basically gonna bring this straight across like this all right so we're gonna continue from right here this point and the same three by three and then we're gonna make this tuck in and then we're gonna put one out like that and then we're gonna do three again one two three and it should meet up like this okay, so for this front structure right here we're gonna raise the wall before stone walls high so we have one already so this is gonna be well we're gonna make sure that the wall is staggered so we're gonna start off with our small one meter stone wall there and two meter and then one meter right here and we're just gonna bring this all the way down to this corner right here great so you should have something looking like this now we're gonna make sure that we had it into our doorway so we're gonna take these out just fill these back in with one meter stone okay so our doorway is set and we can mark where our window is gonna be so it's gonna be about well, right here let's take these out so it's gonna be like a two meter by two meter uh window next thing that we're gonna focus on is our roof section for this part and we're just going to get a uh, one meter stone right here and one right here and a two meter stone right in the middle so our roof should start our roof line should start right here so we're going to put a one meter wood right at the edge here just to create an overhang for the roof we'll just do the same for the other side and we're going to get our 26 degree and bring it all the way up until it meets in the middle Okay, so the next section that we're gonna work on is to clean up the roof like the front of the roof right here where the stone is basically showing the little edges here so we're gonna place a one meter wood right on top uh this roof a wood line and we're gonna get a core wood so we're gonna use that to find the halfway mark of this one meter uh, hole and we're just gonna get our 26 degrees so we can easily snap it right at that halfway mark so that we can have it uh, covering up the edges of the stone underneath the roof here so you should have something looking like this now great now what i can do is that we can just go ahead and just fill in our door jam right here just adding some wood trims here and there and we're going to tuck the door in like a little bit like in the middle so i'm holding down on shift key just to place it down just like that and we just can add a little bit of detail to the doorway by just putting a lot of beam on top of that one that is there and then we just put a one meter wood that's poking out uh, add a little bit more detail to the doorway or i can put some to the side like this uh, it's optional and we can just add our little uh, wooden wall down for a little more detail for that little iconic um, medieval house look so once we have that all in we can focus now on the roof where we can slide in the shingle roof and we're using a 26 degree so we're gonna place that right here and we're just basically bringing it all the way down here until we reach to this point now that your roof pieces are in should be looking like this don't worry about uh, this section here we're gonna work on that when we get to these other structures that we're gonna work on later on so we're gonna continue with putting the half wall to the base here and also we're gonna add a bit more detail to our window we're just gonna frame it out a bit we're just gonna use a one by one floor and just add some window ledge here i rotate the edges the sides two times one two and snap it in like that and we just have a like, basic window ledge there and we can just do that on the other side and also add in these little half walls on the base okay so our next section that we're going to work on is this section here to our left now we're going to raise the this wall about six stone walls high 
so we just we just want to make sure that it is staggered so we're just going to continue with our method and we just need to bring this around now that this wall is uh, six stone walls in height now we need to do the other side so that it can meet so as again we're gonna do the same staggered method we just can bring this back wall right here and basically just continue with it great now that we have our right side up six stone walls in height now we need to focus on a little bit of detail underneath here so we're gonna connect the stones right here also we just need to add like a one meter stone right here and right here and right here uh, there's going to be a reason why because uh, this is going to be a doorway to access this little section here in the roof because we're making use of every little space in this tiny build so we're just going to put our floor in uh, right here just to get that all worked out we're just going to connect it from here and from here and we just can put a door a small door for the time being uh, maybe we can tuck that in yeah and just basically access like this now for these little sides right here we're gonna get our half wall and fill these in on top we're just gonna rotate it i like to use the back piece so let's put it on the back there and all of that is all cleaned up i mean this is fine as is but if you want to have some more detail or bring this cross like this just to make it look clean that is fine as well and that is it for that section so we just need to focus on the roof for this section here and we're just gonna get our stone wall and we're gonna use a one meter stone right here and right here and fill it with the two meter stone in the middle so this is our layout for the roof and we're gonna get our one meter wood attached to the side right here and also right here just like we did with the front section and we just have these section here broken out because we want to have the roof overhang and we're gonna use 26 degree uh this time around we want to have a nice little high roof because we're gonna use that space for storage so have the meetup the center and so for right here we want to connect the 20, 45 degree wood right here and also right here and for this little middle section i'm gonna put a one meter wood right here and put another right in the middle Oh, so we can try to get that central point so that is good now we switch back to our 20 45 degree sorry and try to connect it there so it can overlap the other 45 degree beam and we should have something looking like this so we can take these one meter beams out and uh, fill out the gaps with uh with stone we can do like this and we can put one more right here and another here the roof should be able to cover all of that up so it shouldn't be a problem so we can fill this section right here as well so it's not showing uh we could swap it out and use like a two meter stone instead something like this and finished off with a one meter stone right up top you can just maybe place that manually by holding down on shift key it should have something like this if it's overlapping you just push it back a bit and then you should be good to go from there we can put in our 45 degree roof piece we just connect it to the side right here and we're just gonna bring this about to this side so one two three we'll get, it should come over a little bit more but we're gonna get to that once we start working on the other side so we'll just bring this over one two three let's do the same up here okay so your roof should look like this so we're just gonna go back down to the bottom here and underneath here where you see basically seeing underneath the roof we can just use like a half wall and we're just gonna slide it slightly up make sure it's lined with that stone and it's not too much into the roof that's showing up top so that is good and we just snap it all the way across like that and for windows i think we can add one more uh, two meter beam like that and just kind of keep the design uh, up consistency with the design just like the doorway we have a little poking out section there uh, we can do it on this side other side as well for the other windows is going to be different okay so for this little section here we're going to have like a little little structure that is poking out to kind of extend the space a bit so we're going to switch on over to a dark wood arch and we're just going to rotate that and find that snapping point about right here and right here so we're going to get our 2x2 two two floor and we just snap that in 
and it's going to be two meters high so it's not going to be really at tall so we're going to get our one meter beam and we're going to kind of frame out the roof section uh because we, we need a roof overhang and we're just going to pull that out we're going to do this the same over here we're going to get our 26 degree and we'll snap these in now for i'm not going to make it snap all the way back i want it to snap to the front of the bill right here so i'm going to switch on over to our orb wood and we're going to create that snapping point it's about right there and switch back to the 26 degree and we should be able to snap it in properly right there do the same on the other side do the forward on this one meter stone switch on over to our 26 degree snapping point right there and we snap it point right there and that is all set switch on over to our 26 degree and we start from the front and bring this all the way across and we go to the back build that section in now for this middle section here we're going to get our dark wood arch we're going to start over start with the sides right here and we just carry it across and then we just rotate it snap it right here as well and we should have a window looking like this now we're going to put a dark wood to the front here and we might as well just throw in a window ledge I like to use the back of the, the wooden wall so let's we'll put one right here and switch over to 26 degree wooden wall and we can just easily snap that in like that and we can just do that for the other side now that we have this little section here built now we're just going to add a bit more detail around it so we're going to get our half wall and attach it to the base right here and just basically carry it around the other side and we're just going to get our 2 meter beam just to clean up the edges here and just bring it all the way down we'll just do that on the other side so next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to clean up our roof here underneath here where you basically see in the stone so we're going to get our 45 degree roof piece and we're going to slide we're going to manually place it so i'm holding down on shift key and just lining it up with this the edge here with this edge of what i've just placed and we're just doing this on the other side as well let's slide this up let's make sure that it's uh that triangle is basically centered with the, the bottom triangle right here it looks it looks good we could adjust it a little bit more so maybe about that that looks much better and we just can continue with this piece here we're not going to manually we're not gonna snap it in we're going to manually place it in and kind of slide it up a bit that's just like that we also want to make sure that it's not poking out too much and it's just basically in line with this uh, beam right here so the front of this is all good and the other detail that we just need to add is to hide the roof underneath here i'm going to switch on over to our two meter wooden wall and be going to have this slide up like that and basically go in the boss so we just do the same thing here i like to use the back so just switch it on over to the back okay so for our tower section right here so we're gonna work on that now all these little sections are basically break down three by threes but you're not necessarily seeing it because it's attached to each other but as you can see when i break this part right here because we're gonna raise this wall it's currently six we're gonna add three more wall height to this so it's one two three and this is where it starts to separate from this structure so we're going to make sure that we have our little part right here to come across like that and we'll just do the same thing over here overlap this stone we'll just bring this across oh we should make sure that it's staggered so let's work with what we have right there and we just bring this all the way around so that's one and we just do two more of this so the structure should look like this now there was a little bit of correction I actually added one more row of stone walls so in total it should be 10 stone walls high for this little tower looking section so now we're going to switch on over to use our dark wood arch and we're just going to connect it to the little edges here 
and we'll just put one right here we're just repeating this same design on all the edges okay so once you have all the dark wood arches in place we're going to use our one meter one by one meter wooden floor and connect the edges here going all the way around the bill pull in in between these dark wood arches okay so when you're done you should have it looking like this now we're just going to get our core wood and we're going to attach it to these little edges right here and right here one right here and another right here and we're going to get our one by one wall and we're going to attach it to the side of the core wood we'll just do the other side as well i like to use the back piece for a little detail and we'll just do the other side over here and right here so we're just going to do the same thing for the other two core woods now that we have all the one by one meter wood in place we're going to switch on over to our dark wood arch and we're just going to frame out our windows so we're just going to connect this all the way across like that rotate this and we just connect it like that to our two meter pole dark wood and just connect piece right here and we just make sure to connect some at the edge there and right there and then we're going to switch on over to our four meter dark wood beam and we just connect the piece right here we can use the two meter beam to finish it off right here and have it looking like that okay so now that we have our windows all framed out for all the size we just need to focus on the roof so we're going to use a one meter beam here let's make a box at the edge here because that is where our roof is going to start and we're going to get our 45 degree shingle roof corner piece so we're going to connect it right here in the middle so it should be pointing to the center of the bill basically we're going to do the same thing on the other side just make a nice little one by one bit of box get our corner roof shingle and just connect it like this now we also are going to need to drop a half wall in the center here just for support for the roof so you're going to do do it like that and we're gonna get our regular 45 degree roof and just connect it on the side right here we just take this out and just put this properly in like this and snap it all the way over like that now i usually have like a wooden beam going across just to kind of detail it it is optional to you if you want to put it in i think for this one uh i'm gonna keep it in and just kind of frame out the the, the edges there now, if you plan on doing that, you can also make it easier on yourself when you just put the box right here and just bring the beam all the way across so that you can easily place the 45 degree roof piece like this with ease. Okay, so I went ahead and added one more of these corner pieces on top and I'm just going to fill in the gaps right here for the roof to kind of finish it out. And for the top, here we're going to use the 45 degree roof ridge now you can position it whichever way if you want to set it like this or you want to rotate it and set it like this whichever way is fine and just uh, fill this in and the roof is basically done now that you have the roof all set now we just need to add a bit more detail to the structure so for right underneath here where the wood and stone meet we're just going to add the wooden wall and i like to use the back of it just because i like the detail of these little wood strips that go across so we're just going to carry this around the bill here and another thing that we're going to do is that we're going to clean up the edges of the stone structure so we're going to add this wooden pole and we're just going to bring it all the way up to this point here where it meets underneath the two dark wood arch and then at the base here we're just going to line and line this two meter pole up with the one that we just placed one like that and another on the other side like that and we're just going to bring this all the way up make sure that it is overlapping the arch like this so you should see something looking like this and we'll just do that on the other side so we're basically doing this all the way around uh of the build uh, for these little sections here you don't necessarily have to go all the way in you can just place like a short one meter wood so we can just put the two meter wood first something like that we can maybe do a, like a one meter wood right here and uh, then drop a two meter wood on top of that 
Oh, me. So I don't need to bring that side down, but for like over here, which I will need to do. So let me just fill this in and then just get another row of this going all the way up. And that is it. The next thing that we're going to add is that there is a little structure here that was poking out. We kind of extend the space a bit. So we're just going to get our dark wood arch and we're going to check from like one, two, three, four. So on the fourth stone wall, uh, going up, you place this dark wood arch uh, right here and one right here. So it's basically one meter space, uh, stone wall space from the edge there for both sides. I'm just going to fill this in using dark uh, using wooden floor and we're going to raise it up to so it's going to be like a two meter and a one meter top so two meter and one meter so that's how high it should be and next we're going to get our root piece now for this one i think it is the same 26 degree that we're going to use so let's get that in we're just going to create our roof overhang and we just get our 26 degree we're just gonna snap that in so when we are doing it the proper way to get the roof overhang we're just gonna need our core wood right here and we're just gonna snap it right there so it should flow with the snapping point that is right in between this uh, dark wood arch and the wooden pole right here now we just need to switch on over to our 26 degree and we should find that snapping point that was created by the core wood that should overlap uh this 26 degree beam that we are placed to here already now the don't have to worry about the other side because we can just uh, kick it back that snapping point all the way over like this so we just bring this piece over and then we can get our 26 degree and snap it right on top of this now for our window section for this little overhang uh, uh, structure here we're just going to get our our dark wood arch we're just going to start it off to frame out our windows like this start from the top and we just rotate it and we just have it all set we just get our two meter dark wood just snap it on over the pieces that are already there just like this clean up the front we're using a four meter dark wood beam and then for the size we just need to get a wooden wall and we can do a half wall around here and we should be able to slide in a 26 degree wall on top of that to make sure that it's all clean now we can do the same thing on the other side so the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to cut out a window right here so we're going to take this out and take that piece out and replace it with one meter stone and we should have something shaping out like this and we're gonna go inside to shape out the flooring because there are some other sections that we need to cut out but we also need to know where our floor uh flooring lies so that we can have that done okay so we're now on the inside and as you can see this bill is pretty small inside and the fact that the stone does take up extra space because of the whole thickness of it but it's uh, it's still workable but if it's, you're a person that doesn't like from space then i guess this bill is not for you so to work out where our floor is going to be well for this section here we know that this is where the floor is going to be and our staircase we just need to have that in place so we're just going to place a one by one meter wooden floor and we're going to get our staircase to attach to it and we're just going to basically wrap this around now this should be on the same level as this floor as you can see so we just need to bring this floor all the way across like that and we are good with that section now over here there is the, the, the structure that we have just created that extend out and also there's one over here so we're going to start over here first i'm going to get our 26 degree staircase and we're just going to attach it right here and about here and we're going to break these stones right here to open up this section let's take this one out this one out we're going to fill these little section with one meter stone over here is good so this should remain so you should have this opening area where you can make use of we can just add some glass right here uh, we may have to slide this a little bit over just to make sure that everything has properly spaced out so 
if you're first time building with glass just make sure that you aim at these little wooden pieces that you see in front of you because if you aim at the glass it won't support it glass can't support glass so let's set that one properly and there we go and we just can fix uh, this up kind of frame this out a bit and uh, we have something looking like that that's good and we have like a nice little area here we can fill the floor in right here with some one meter wooden floor and that is good so we have a little extension uh, right here now for over here well let's work out our floor we're just gonna clean this up a bit gonna fill one more piece right here let's just check to see if we can go down smoothly because at times the hitbox can be a bit of a problem and we're going to open up this area here to our little extended structure we just fill these little gaps with a one meter stone we can just break a couple more oops might have broken something that i need to we'll just fill that in and uh yeah we'll pass that out later on so we have some a little section here opened up we can just get our staircase and what we're going to do is that we're going to add a one meter wood around here because we need to work out our staircase going up to the top of this section so put a one meter wood right here and then we just put a staircase about here and another right here now for this portion we're just going to use 26 degree stairs and we're just going to tuck this in halfway into the wall so we're able to access this little section here and also we're able to go up the stairs whenever we need to okay so and then we're just going to fill in these little areas here that by covering up the stone using some one meter uh wooden floor and like we can put a wall right here and maybe we can switch this around maybe something like uh let's let's try the 40, 45 degree one here yeah and then we can maybe put the the back one meter with around around that that's uh pretty decent maybe we can raise it all up to the top and then we have something looking like this and we just have a, a nice little private area we can put some more one meter wood right here just to make everything look all seamless and clean and uh, we are good to go with this little structure here uh, also we could put in a window so yeah we're gonna try the grill uh with this part right here i'm just gonna put in these uh, these little grills on top of these uh by two grills just to make it all seamless and we're just gonna put our glass in uh note to self uh whenever you're placing the glass make sure that you're placing it behind the the grill if you want to see the grill in front of it and kind of create that nice little style that you see in the preview and we just place it on the wooden pieces that we see in front of us so that it's supported properly get our wood to frame this out let's make it look cleaner and we should be all set so while i'm inside here just want to point out some areas that i use to add storage like for this open roof uh, section here I use the sides here to store my chest uh like two rows of chests one right here and another that like, stacks on top of it uh right here as well you will see that in the preview video i will talk about it a bit more you have a doorway right here and we're just going to take this out using and fill those back in with the uh, one meter stone wall so we have like a nice little open doorway just like this and we're just going to place our door and we want the door to position this this way because our most of our balcony space is going to be on this side as you can see uh we're gonna fill this area out we're just gonna put some little floor in like this now what i've done is that i went ahead to kind of uh shape out an area so it is i'm starting from this edge i rotate it one time and we rotate it again another and rotate it until we have something looking like this and then we just do the same thing on the other side so one take rotation for each one two three and four so we have a nice little curved balcony and we just clean this edge up with a two meter beam and uh, we might as well just add in we have the option of using dark wood arch i can slide this in uh just like that and we can just do the same can we do it on this side can can we yeah we can and we should have something looking like that we can just slide those two meter beams back where they're supposed to be and what you can do is that you can just use the one meter one floor and just follow the 
the line of the beam one meter beam going all the way around and we can just fill the rest of it by using the two, the two meter so like this and one more over here like this now i've used shutters for the railing so it's optional you can use something else that you prefer now for the top we can add a little roof structure so that or a little patio section here is not uh, saturated by the rain so let's just put all the line right here of what we have available and we're just going to do it to about this and we're going to get our 26 degree wall so that we can attach it to the side right here going into the wall let's do the other side right here let's clean that one up should be something looking like this instead and then we get our half wall and we just do the same in those little gaps and we just spin this around and we should have something looking like this pretty simple and easy and if we are feeling like we should add a bit more detail we could get a wooden pole and place it about right here and uh, another all right there so it, it seems that it is being held up by the wooden pole so it should have something looking like this next we're going to finish our staircase here to access our top structure up here so we're just going to switch on over to our 45 degree staircase and put that last piece in and then we have our access to the top here now we're going to think we use the the two meter wooden floor just because you just want to minimize the the instance count uh if i was supposed to be using the one meter i would be using a lot more so we're just gonna fill this area in just a bit more like this yeah and maybe just wrap this around some of this and some of that i just want to make sure i'm able to access yeah, so I'm able to pass underneath pretty pretty easy, so that's good. So no problem there. And oh yeah, so we can we can just use a, a one meter right here. Good. So we have our section here all cleaned up. We can you know border this area by using I prefer prefer to use like signs because uh, during the half wall the hitbox is a bit uh, big, so it kind of obstructs you from you know getting down. The, the, the staircase there so sign it, it has a big a little bit little bit of a hitbox that is uh yeah so as long as you don't put it on the, at the edge you shouldn't have a problem so we're just gonna box this section here in a bit so now that our staircase is all done, also just want to point out that uh, whenever I'm doing the preview video of the inside, now you may see that this stairwell staircase is a bit different. Well, it's because after doing this build a second time, I realized that I could have done this in the first place without, uh, without having this uh, a gap right here. Because I thought that I wasn't able to clear my head when I'm going down, but actually I can because of it being a 45 degree and not... 26 degree stairs so that's good to to know because i mean now you're able to maximize the space that you have up here you're able to maybe put a bed right here and uh, maybe a few other stuff around to kind of decorate the space more all right so what we the next thing we're going to focus on for up here and also if you're wondering about the whole um getting warmth by fire it's best that you have a brazier up top I mean, this is a planes house, so by the time you're in planes, you should be able to make brazier, which is pretty easy, because you're gonna need chains, uh, which you, you can get from the swamp, and you need bronze, and just have a forge nearby, and you should be good to go. You can just place it up here, and uh, yeah, you get fire. Now, the window is what we want to focus on, which is just the final part for this top structure, and we're just gonna get our cage and just fill in these little gaps uh, here. So let's put another row of these caves up top and fill it in like this. And then we're going to use our glass. Now it's very important because if you want to see the cage in front of the glass, you cannot make it snap in place into the cage. Because what's going to happen is that the, cage, the glass is going to hide the cage. And so you don't get that look that you see in the preview. 
so you, I'm gonna place it in first and just want to make sure it's lined up properly so about here is good so you should have a bit space a bit of space there so the two bars so there there are cases where you can overlap the back piece of the bar and it's like you just get this one straight line you may see it in some section of the bill if you look carefully but you just have to make sure it's uh, all the way back even that last bar right we can see right here and so we have this all set so we're just going to aim at the, the, the cage and it will place the glass on top of the one that we, we already placed and we just can just take it back on that going all the way up and we just can follow going across like this and we just fill all this up with the glass basically this is the look that you're trying to achieve so when you're you know really far out you can see the glass on the back and the grill in front of it kind of creating a nice little window uh design there and there is one more thing that i forgot to add and it was just there's a window should be right here i'm just gonna take this wall out and just this and oops i should be using a one meter stone just switch that out switch this out and we should have like a nice little window right here uh for viewing purposes okay and so the last bit of detail we're going to add is basically around the base of the the, the house so I'll place a two meter beam right here because i want to line this uh, stone floor up right beside it so you should have something like this it's basically halfway into the ground and we're just gonna bring this uh, around okay so with uh, the stone floor placed around the structure it looks nice and neat uh, i love the look of it with the stone floor around the base there and it's something I'm gonna uh, use it more and more in the future with um, little tiny builds like these. Uh, so another thing I want to mention, which is also a tip, is that because oh, if you're wondering why I didn't put a fireplace in, because yeah, discovered that you can use an oven and get the the fire buff, and you will still get rusted. So you don't necessarily need a heart to get uh, the fire buff, but you can also use an oven and upstairs you can use a brazier so that is good to know and i um, mean you have the option where you can put your your fire outside and do some cooking now you will see in the preview where i stuck the oven out a bit outside so that smoke can be vented out and uh, yeah everything looked uh, neat and tucked in if you have any um ideas or any and it tricks up your Steve as to how you can maximize on space in this structure here is go ahead and leave a comment because uh, persons in the community have uh, told me to try out this uh, do like a tiny build and uh, this is the best I could do uh, they, they also even uh, gave a tip where you can even use the floor as a way of putting your storage so those little uh, wooden boxes you can maybe create uh, maybe a floor design out of it and just use that storage that's that's another thing but let's get on over to the finished one and show you what i've done with the interior so this is the finished one as you can see now if you're wondering how did i get vines on this structure uh, i was able to use a mod that's called plant everything mod so i can use the vines uh, to build it and so let's get head inside and you can see the space what i've made use of it uh, added flowers on the window Added a little cabinet here for a showcase not much i try to keep the decoration at the minimum and plus i'm not a person that uh, likes to decorate so yeah so i created a, a little tiny kitchen area i have some little storage chests underneath here we can put some food in i have the the oven as i mentioned earlier we're able to use this to get the fire buff and uh, basically get rested uh, as you can see to the top right and uh, just a little decoration here window and we just go upstairs where we have our little little work workshop area here now i don't necessarily have to put it here i didn't know what to put here to make use of the space i just placed it there for now and i was able to put the the other upgrades outside as a little decoration which was was perfect placement I would say and i have this little area i just chucked some gold in as i mentioned i'm not much of a decorator because i just wanted to um get this uh, tutorial out because i 
created this build originally for uh, Ravenheim, where I play on with other creators. And this was this was actually my little home, which I haven't finished yet. But this kind of gonna give me ideas at how I'm gonna finish this up. And as you can see, I was able to put this the chest up here. So this is about like uh, 10 chests on this side and 10 chests on this side. So that's a good amount of storage there. And we have our little nice little balcony area here where we can look out, and we have our our little chair and our sippy cup. <laughs> And uh, so we kind of head up to like, maybe this is kind of, I was thinking about this to be like, like a little study area. So this is how, yeah, it came out. So I was trying to add some little books here and using the bench as shelves. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. So going all the way up to the top, which is basically the, the bedroom. Now, this is what I was talking about where I could have maximized on the space where I could have just boxed this out and I would still be able to get underneath it. So you can do what you you saw in the first um, in the build tutorial there. And uh, yeah, maximize on the space because I basically uh, handicapped myself by just putting that little gap there when I still could slide underneath so that is it guys this is basically the whole layout and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the build tutorial if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and i'll always be putting out these tutorials so make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any videos shout out to my patrons and youtube member supporters for keeping the channel going thanks for watching and don't forget to always aspire to inspire peace